welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you feel amazing in your own body, skin, and mind. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to stretch like a ballerina. I was a professional dancer and ballerina for many, many years. I'm really excited to show you how we would stretch before we would go out and perform or before a class. These are some amazing stretches that are going to feel good and you're going to feel like a beautiful ballerina by the end of this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet because that helps me be able to create new free videos just like this every single week. Okay, so we are going to start in a parallel position. So parallel just means that the feet are like two highways towards each other and we are going to just begin to roll out the ankles so as you guys know, ballerinas point their toes, right, in a really, really beautiful way. So we would always start class by warming up our ankles. So having a nice dynamic stretch here through the ankle. So I'm pushing my heel forward into the floor and I'm allowing the front of my, the arches of my feet to stretch as well as the back of my feet. So we're gonna do this for just a couple more seconds here feeling the floor underneath you, feeling all the toes underneath you like um, rooting, like roots into the floor. So you wanna make sure that they're spreading away from each other, creating some space there. Good, now we're going to add a little point. So you're going to actually go on top of the arch, the toes are facing now the other way, and now you're going to bend both knees, really stretch out the front there, and then stand up. See how far you can go. We'll just do about five of these here. We used to do these all the time. I still do them just out of habit. If I'm waiting in line somewhere or watching TV or waiting for my coffee to brew, I definitely do these all the time. Especially if you're wearing shoes that are really uncomfortable, right? This is going to help keep your feet really healthy just besides, you know, wanting to point your toes. It's going to keep your feet really, really strong and healthy. I still believe from all of my years of a ballerina so I'm able to wear heels really easily and not have any pain. As other girls I see, they're like dying and I'm like, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to externally rotate our hips. Ballerinas all work in external rotation. So find your normal, um, your external rotation. I have a very, very big external rotation in my hips because I've trained it for so many years. But make sure that you go to yours. So you just lean back onto your heels and just open to where it feels natural. Don't go too far. All right, so now we're going to float our arms up. Take a big inhale in, and we're going to just begin with a few plies. So just go ahead and plie. You can hold on to something here, like a chair or a ledge, but we're just gonna warm up the body right here. Good, so we're gonna do a grand plie all the way down, so knees are open. You're stacking head over heart, over belly button, over hips, over knees, over hip, or heels. So it's a full line, full plumb line here. You should feel like you're actually getting longer as you come down into your plie. Go, let's do one more just like that. Nice big grand plie. Right here, you're even stretching the adductors, right? The inner thighs. Squeeze the glutes together, nice. Now we're going to flex in the hips. We're gonna flex forward. Keep the spine in neutral. So as you float down, think of actually Squeezing the glutes behind you, so squeezing all the external rotators here, and you're going to fold forward, keep this squeeze here, as you fold forward at the hips, so nice big hip flexion here. Keep the spine as straight as possible, beautiful, and then lower all the way down. Always, They always say like, pretend like you're scooping up a bouquet of flowers right here. Round the arms, and take a nice big plie while you're here and stretch it up. If this is too uncomfortable, you could always place the hands on the ground to give you some balance. Open up the knees, feel everything in the hips stretching out. We're creating nice, healthy hips here. Keep the spine as long as possible. Beautiful, one more time, just like that. And up, nice. And so now we're going to lengthen the spine. So in order for you to lengthen the spine here, you've got to be able to create some sort of foundation here, right? Because it's a lot of weight that you're gonna start to pull up off the floor. So in order for you to do that, you actually need to begin to squeeze the glutes together. So turn on the abductors, all these muscles here, to give yourself a nice steady foundation here as you reach and stretch it forward. 
and then float the arms down. Beautiful. See, I'm a little winded because in order to make ballet look so graceful, actually requires a ton of strength as well as the flexibility. So that's what we're doing right now. So float those arms up here. And if you wanna learn how to float the arms, you'll have to watch the other video that I did, which is the beautiful ballerina arms, and I'll link it here for you to watch. So go ahead and make sure the core is nice and tight, spine is long, so that again, we're going to flex with the hips, keep the uh, legs externally rotated. And this time we're just going to reach it all the way forward, right back up again, nice. Keep the glutes squeezed. That's going to give you the foundation to be able to do this move. Beautiful, let's do it one more time. So reach for it. So I feel like I'm reaching through the top of my head and reaching through my tailbone this whole time. So you gotta have this awareness, the proprioception of your spine, of where you are in space at all times. Beautiful, reach it all the way forward. Nice. And then float the arms down as if you're moving through water. Let's do that one more time. Open up. Fold it forward. Nice, all the way down and then reach and lift, nice. All right, so we're gonna go through another port de bras that's what these are called. So we're going to take a nice back bend. Let's, uh, we're gonna reach the toe forward. So we're gonna be in tendu position and we're going to open up through the chest here and then come back to center. So it's really about trying to lift up and over something as if you had a, a wall here or something, you're trying to go up and over it. If it's too much with the toe forward, you can just have the toe back like this. So you're going to reach up and feel like you're bending up and over something that's right there at your bra line. Nice, so we're extending the spine, lifting the arms up, floating them open, look up towards the sky. Nice, one more time. Inhaling, so there's no weight on the toe, right? That's the trick here, I'm not leaning on this. The weight is all here on the standing leg. So we're using those glutes again. Nice, let's switch sides. So you're using these glutes here to wrap around, to externally rotate, to keep this leg strong and steady here. Make sure that you're not also beginning to extend in the hips. The hips stay, this hip stays in neutral, nice. So take a nice big inhale in, and exhale around. Beautiful, yes, it's a balancing pose for sure. Inhale up, but we're stretching across the chest, across the pecs. We're stretching, of course, this whole front side of our body. And then we're also strengthening the standing leg. One more time, nice big inhale in and around. Good job. All right, now we're going to stretch to the side. So there's always a lot of side bending that happens in ballet. There's actually all sorts of motions, right? You really use your spine in all directions. Sometimes we get stuck in the, just the flexion and extension, but there's the lateral side that the, the spine moves, and then there's the circular, right? You can spin all the way around on top of your hips. So we're gonna practice doing that, stretching everything here in our um, torso and spine. It's gonna feel really good too. So take a nice big inhale in. We're gonna plie, turn on those abductors again like we talked about. So you're gonna squeeze the outer glutes and reach the arms out to the side. We're gonna reach over to the um, right side. So lateral flexion here. And then I want you to come all the way down towards the middle here. Keep the knees back though. Don't let the knees buckle in. You're gonna to have to squeeze those glutes to keep them back and then reach over to the side and then come on up. Nice. Let's reach over to the side. We're gonna plie first, reach over to the side all the way down and to the side and up. Yep, you're gonna have to really, really use those inner thighs, those adductors here to balance and stabilize here. Beautiful, plie and side, all the way forward and up. Nice, plie and side, circle it forward. So you're flexing the spine forward and up. Let's do that one more time, each side to the side and circle around and up. Your legs are getting nice and strong as you do this. Plie and side and forward and up. Beautiful. All right, so let's bring those feet back together. We're gonna go back to that first stretch again. This is always what we did in ballet. Come back to the center here. 
Remember to externally rotate those hips. Make sure you have an alignment between your hips, your knees, and your toes. They should all be facing, or the knees and the toes should be facing the same direction, and the hips are nice and square. Nice, so take a big inhale in. Remember, extend the spine, or keep the spine neutral, but keep it long. Nice, nice, big, fold forward. And let's do our plies again here. Plie, bend the knees, and hands straighten. Beautiful, bend the knees. And as you straighten, I want you to feel like the legs are zipping up together, really nice and tight. So you're gonna actually engage those quads as those legs come together. One more time. And up, nice. Now hold on to those glutes. So use those glutes, squeeze the legs together. Keep the legs nice and strong as you lift all the way up. And then float the arms down. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. You got a little peek inside of what it's like to stretch and move your body like a ballerina. It's definitely a work in progress, right? It's really using your body as a piece of art and that's what makes it so fun and challenging. So let me know how you like this. Leave your comments below and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's what helps me be able to create more videos for you like this. And if you are looking for a more comprehensive workout plan, 30-day workout programs, I highly suggest that you go ahead to the App Store, download my Stretchy Fit app on Android or Apple, and you'll be able to access over 100 of on-demand videos plus 30-day programs. Okay, see you somewhere very soon. Bye.